All right, so we have another person being accused of being a sexual predator, this time it being Jeff Ross, and this is actually very kind of old. This is about a couple years old, so I'm a little late to covering this, but I had no idea, and recently I went back and watched the roast of the, you know, the Comedy Central roast where they roast Flavor Flav, Jeff Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, you know, the Comedy Central roast, and recently they did the Justin Bieber one, which I watched a little bit of it recently, and they're all singing a song for Justin Bieber, and then this dude literally just falls. Like, he falls from the equipment and falls straight to the ground. So I don't know if that was planned, but it was pretty goddamn hilarious, to say the least. So if you haven't seen that one, go go watch it. Even There's, there's highlights on YouTube that you can watch. But one of the main people I've seen in the roast was Jeff Ross. And, you know... I thought he was cool for the time of the roast. I didn't really think he was that bad of a comedian. Sure, some of his jokes didn't always land that good, but, I mean, he always pushed kind of like a dark, edgy type humor. But when I looked more into this, I'd seen this shit. I'm going to show you guys right now. Jeff Ross breaks his silence about alleged relationship with a minor. So... I didn't even know that this was a thing. I didn't know that Jeff Ross was being accused of uh, sexual shit with minors. I didn't know. I had no idea until just now. Because then again, I had forgotten all about Jeff Ross up until I watched the Kami Central Roast recently. I've been watching the old ones. And I was like, dude, you know what? Let's, let's look into him. I haven't heard from him in a while. And this is what I hear. I hear a alleged relationship with minors. So we're going to read some articles. This one is by Newsweek.com. Again, this is somewhat old, but I mean, better late than never, right? Jeff Ross broke his silence on the accusation of engaging in sexual relationships with a minor. The 54-year-old comedian issued a statement on Twitter on Tuesday denying claims. It's taken a lot of discipline for me to not respond until now because I believe this is a mental health issue. And I support people when they are hurting, but let me be clear. These disgusting allegations asserted against me are absolutely not true. I have never engaged in any sexual relationship with a minor. Ross wrote, adding that the allegation is old news. Uh, Jeff Ross tweets, I tend to take legal action based on these untrue, horrific allegations because no one, no matter how sick they are, she would be allowed to continue to try to and benefit from false stories while attempting to destroy others. I'm proud of my reputation, not just as a comedian, but as a human being and an ally to women. The dangerous environment currently being exposed at the comedy clubs is real. I wholeheartedly support change and I vow to do more to make my community safer for everyone. Although this accusation is false, I wanted there to be no doubt of my commitment to victims of sexual assault. Jeff Ross, uh, well, he wrote out and then tweeted this note he wrote. It has been investigated numerous times and thoroughly reviewed and never published. The witness and evidence do not support these despicable allegations. The person making these allegations has falsely accused others and has documented history of drug abuse. Her best friend at the time did not support her allegations. Her husband, who is clearly assisting her, has been convicted of a crime involving dishonestly. He continued, they have been harassing me for years rather than continue on with reciting even more evidence that furthers refutes this nonsense. I will just say that I am hopeful that this person gets help for her mental health issues. The happy says actor said he intended on taking legal actions against his accuser who first alleged Ross raped and took explicit photos of her in 2006 college essay. And again, in a Facebook video posted in 2019, the woman who posted under the Facebook screen named I was 15. He was 33 claimed she was 15 years old when she dated Ross in 1999, who would have been about 34 years old at the time. 
she shattered a number of photographs of herself and Ross together to help support her claims. The allegation returned to the spotlight after the comedy pavilion Gulen reposted the video on Twitter uh, June 19th thread trigger warning this woman provided a lot of evidence in this video and statement below that when she was 15 and jeff ross was 33 years old they were in sexual relationship in which he alleged also raped her while she was sleeping okay let's see let's take a look i want to see this oh jeff ross the rapist let's see him Jeff Ross asked J uh, Jason Steinberg to get myself and Gina Savage tickets to the roast. He could have easily gotten the tickets himself as he's a friar and was on the dais, but didn't want it to seem too obvious by giving us the tickets himself. So Jason was kind enough, if you will, to give Gina and I the tickets. Gina would go off and meet to things like this um, in order to make it seem Normal. Uh, to my knowledge, Gina wasn't exactly aware that Jeff and I were engaging in anything sexual, but she is the person who gave him my phone number and didn't seem too surprised when she found out what was going on through my father. Anyway, I don't want to be anything beyond that, but there's just the support, the claim that Gina was with me at that roast. Same dress on the next photo. This was the first public photo ever taken of Jeff and I. This was taken with Friars Club host Jerry Stiller, October 1st, 1999. Once again, I am 15 years of age. Please note where his hand is on my 15 year old body, very close to my breast. Hmm. Um, hmm. So my first question is why in the fuck could we not see, why did you not let us see the first person? That's my first question, but I will give her that, that it is a little strange that you have a photo that old, but then again, I mean, that could go either way. I mean, that could just be you getting an autographed photo. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's hard to really say. Based on this alone, I would say that it's obviously more evidence would be needed. But, I mean, it's definitely something to think about because, let's be honest, I mean, Hollywood is not no controversy to fucking pedophiles. I mean, there is tons of pedophiles that are Hollywood elitist. So, I'm not going to say that this couldn't be true. But, for the love of Jesus Christ, I hope that this wouldn't be true. But, I mean, it's definitely something to uh, look into it with further more investigation. I, I would I would think it is a little strange, though, that, I mean, she has all this evidence to kind of uh, claim all this. But, so that is just one of the uh, allegations that are going around against Jeff Ross. I mean, it's like I said, I would like to definitely see more evidence. I would definitely like to see more evidence, personally, of these claims. Um, but it is something to definitely keep your mind aware of that this person possibly could be a predator. I mean, possibly could be, I mean, again, there needs to be way more evidence than just an old photo. And then there's no explanation why you covered the first photo. Why could we not see the person in the first photo? Ross has never publicly addressed the accusation, but wrote that he was finally speaking out because no one, no matter how sick they are, should be allowed to continue to try and benefit from false stories while attempting to destroy others. I'm proud of my reputation, not just as a comedian, but as a human being, an ally to women. Yeah, and we already read that. Newsweek has reached out to the representatives for Ross for further co comment, and this piece will be updated with any response we receive. Allegations against Ross resurfaced following his com comedian Chris DeAlala's latest controversy regarding his alleged harassment of teenage girls in a statement released last week. D'Elia denied claims of soliciting minors and said he was never 
met or exchanged any inappropriate photos with people who have tweeted about me. Now we have another article. This one's in January uh, 26, 2021. Jeff Ross is the latest accused creep to get a free pass from the comedy world. Why does this stand-up circuit seem so adverse to punish its own? This one's obviously a hit piece by Inside Hook, writing a fat-ass hit piece against Jeff, Jeff Ross. On Tuesday's live stream on-demand platform, Live X Live announced the inaugurable snubbies a comic award show devoted to honoring those who are deserving but not receiving including artists like the weekend who was famously snubbed by the grammys this year to take place on january 31st that's all well and good but the host for the proceedings may spark a little controversy it's not other than uh, comedian jeff ross who was accused last summer of having sexual relationships with an underage girl in the 90s when he was 33. It begs the question, why is this man accused of pedophilia still getting gigs? Well, I mean, that could be because of real actual lack of evidence. I mean, there was some evidence. There was definitely some suspicious, uh, suspicious shit. But at the end of the day, unless like there's, I, I would, I would think in my personal opinion, unless you literally have a photo of him with like with him actually in a room or together at that point, like more actual, like concrete evidence, then it's hard to really say, oh, he is a predator. I mean, that's just what I would think. I don't, I'm not going to say that I don't believe it or that I do, but it's something that I didn't know and I'll keep in the back of my head moving forward to watch out for more uh, things to arise. But I mean, I, I they're just, I, I, I would, I, in my opinion, I would genuinely think there would need to be at least a little bit more evidence, but I guess, you know, to each his own, that is totally fine. You guys will think what you guys want. And I, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe personally. I don't, but it would have been awesome to see a little bit more evidence, but who knows? Maybe more evidence will come out as time goes on. Um, who's to really say? Maybe there'll be more uh, research dove in, dug into this, which I think there definitely should be. And if Jeff Ross really is a predator, a Hollywood elitist pedophile, like a lot of them really are, then he needs to be exposed and he needs to be arrested and he needs to lose his career. I mean, that's just all there is to it. If it is true, if it is true, it begs the question, why is this man accused of being a pedophile still getting gigs? Ross has denied the allegation from Jessica Roderick who claims she began a sexual relationship with the comedian when she was just 15 years old. And he is currently suing for defamation, but why not wait? See how that case plays out before looking him or before booking him to host your award show. Ross is just the latest example of disturbing trend in the comedy world in which accused sex creeps are welcomed back in with open arms. This summer, Louis C. K. Uh, Louis C. Sorry, Louis C. K appeared as a surprise guest at several of Dave Chappelle's stand-up shows and the disgraced comedian who, as you probably remember admitting to masturbating in front of multiple female uh, comedics against their will. Really? So you're talking about Jeff Ross doing this? Or are you talking about Dave Chappelle? Because again, I'd never even heard this. Admitted to masturbating in front of multiple female uh, comedics against their will. Appeared in several photos with Chappelle. So they he, they might it might be talking about Louis C, uh, C K then. I don't even know who the hell that is. I think that's what they're referring to, not Jeff Ross, but uh, Louis C K. I think was the one masturbating in front of multiple females. Uh, with Chappelle, Sarah Silverman, 
She's also really cool. She's old school. Michelle Wolf, Tina, uh, Tiffany, Haddish, all presumably smart people who should know better than to associate with someone who couldn't stop whipping his dick out in an inappropriate moments and then sending his manager to threaten the careers of women he exposed himself to in order to keep them quiet. Why are comedians so hesitant to distance themselves from the creeps and abusers within their industry? Louis C. K.'s former manager Dave Becky still represents a slew of high-profile comics, including some who purport to be feminist, like Amy Pulcher. To be fair, Becky was fired by John Molini and Pamela Aldani when his role in the Lewis C. Case cover-up came to light. And even the very article detailing these allegations against Ross, some of his peers admitted that they knew he preferred to date inappropriately young women, but thought it was fine. Jeff is someone I consider a good friend, and I love him. But to be honest, he always had our alarmingly young-looking girlfriends, Amy Schulmer told Vulture. So now you have other artists that are just coming up forward and saying, yeah, Jeff Ross has a history of dating younger women. I mean, I get it. But if the women are like 21, I mean, again, she's not specifying exactly how many age of these individuals were young. Young could be very vague. Young could be 21. Young could be 22. Young could be 19. You know, young could be even 18. And even at 18 years old, that is still legal. However, is it not weird? Yes, it is still very weird, but it would be considered legal. Um, 21 would be the best age of all. I mean, to be honest with you, at 21, they're pretty much grown adults. Even at 18 years old, I mean, you could still consider them grown adults, but not really. At least in my opinion, they're still very young, even at 18. Even though it's illegal, and I can't call someone a predator for dating somebody that's 18. I mean, that's just... That's the law. 18 years old to consent. 21, yeah, you know, they're pretty much fully grown at that point. But for Amy to say that and not really have a specific number to what these girls were in age, I mean, you have to you have to give us some numbers here. Never one have I known to be underage. Well, then there you go. But alarmingly young looking just the same, another comedian who asked to remain anonymous was also quoted as saying Jeff Ross was always with a young girl. That was his girlfriend type. Were his girlfriends 18 and over that I saw him with? Probably. But he was still considerably older. He has the reputation. Why then wouldn't you speak up or worse? Why wouldn't you still consider someone you've always known to have alarmingly young girlfriends to be your girlfriend whom you love for too long? Fellow comedians have turned a blind eye to the guy like Ross and Louis C. K. Allowing their crimes. Yes, they are sex crimes we're talking about here. Not just tasteless jokes to become open secrets and welcoming them back with open arms after they have been outed as predators pedophiles hollywood elitist undercover predators in the flesh jeff ross i can't really say it is definitely very suspicious other now actors and famous actors are saying yeah jeff ross was with some young looking women but they have also even said that and then they looked a lot, a lot older than 18 maybe just about 18 fair enough Who's to say, though, that Jeff Ross didn't w let one slap, uh, slip through the cracks? Look at Ron Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremiah. Uh, I'm just memeing right there for the ones that like to correct me constantly on the Ron Jeremy shit constantly. Fuck off, because I like to call him Ron Jeremy, okay? No, but seriously, let's get back to the main topic at hand, okay? Ron, Mr. Ron. 
Mr. Groomer, Mr. 34 counts of sexual crimes against him. Mr. Ron Jeremy, the man himself that is claiming insanity at this very moment to derail the case and play uh, insanity in his favor. Had claims going all the way back from 1990 to 1999 as well. So, is it to say that Jeff Ross couldn't have let one slip through the cracks? Possibly. Maybe. It is possibly true. But there needs to be more evidence. There just simply needs to be more evidence. And I'll and I'll and I'll leave it at that. You know, if Jeff Ross is a pedophile, then that's a goddamn shame and he needs to be fucking exposed. Now, you probably are even thinking, well, what about CK uh CK Lewis? There's rumors of him masturbating in front of female comedians. I don't know, that's pretty fucked up. And um, why he would still be allowed to do comedy at that point, I don't fucking know. But if it, if it is true, he needs to go down like, um, what's his name? You know, like Pee Wee Herman, sitting in there masturbating in front of a theater, in front of just, you know, in a, an adult theater. Well, one person I know says, well, at least it wasn't underage girls. At least he was masturbating to grown women. Touche. Was C.K. Lewis masturbating to grown women? Even if he was, it still wasn't appropriate. I mean, these are com comedics. These are your co-workers. These are your people you're supposed to be doing comedy with. Why are you over there sitting beating your pud in front of all these people? I don't know. But that is disgusting, you know, fuck him. You know, I don't really care if C.K. Lewis, I don't care, I, you know, I just don't care, period. I mean, it still makes him a fucking creep for doing that, and maybe he should suffer some consequences. I mean, fuck it. I mean, if you're going to be a sexual deviant, that you need to whip out your cock and start beating it in front of all these actresses and comedian. Com com comedian people maybe you shouldn't do comedy maybe it's not the right thing for you maybe you should lose your license i mean you're not fucking hugh hefner okay i mean we all know hugh hefner was way worse though but jeff ross the pedophile i would love to see more evidence on this i will definitely keep my mind very open-minded to the potential that jeff ross could be a pedophile a lot will have to be determined as we go further with this or it'll just stagnate and this will be the claim that got away. The one claim of somebody speaking out against him. It is a lot to be determined. A lot more evidence to be desired in this case. And you know what? I'll do a little bit more background check. And I'll see if there's anything more irrelevant to the Jeff Ross case of him being a predator. I'll have to see. As again, this is my first time diving into this one. So we'll have to see. Um, for now, I'm just as much in speculation as you guys are, obviously, and we'll just leave it at that. So with that said, that has been your guys' article this morning, and a good morning to every one of my audience, my subscribers, my supporters, to everybody that is holding it down for the Halo MCR channel. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to leave a like, especially if you manage to make it to the end. I appreciate it. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. And I love all you guys here on the Halo MCR channel. So be sure to comment. Is there another comedian I should be looking into? Would you guys like to see a follow up on Jeff Ross? Let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today.